Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello there and welcome to the program. And I'm joined today by Samantha Jane, the CEO of Blue Label Life, a matchmaking service for busy professionals. And Samantha's here to give us her first date tips. Now, a lot of your clients have gone on a lot of first dates. What advice do you give them? Well, they certainly have. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest tip for be on, being on a first date is to relax. Yes. Now, I know that is one of the hardest things to do, but the way you relax is planning and having an end goal. And yeah. that end goal should be to have fun. See, that's the thing though, isn't it? People go on a first date, they're worrying about what will I think of them? What will they think of me? What are we going to talk about? Well, we have nothing. You know, you're going through all of these things in your mind before you even get there. And I think a lot of people struggle with that, don't you? Do you think that your clients actually have those problems? They do. It's all about, it, the first day often is, it's all about me. What, what if I don't like that person? What, what if I want an exit strategy? Who should I have to call me just in case, just Ooh. to get out of this? Luckily, our, our clients don't tend to go through those processes because we actually screen and ensure that they are matched with someone that's highly suitable, but everyone still gets nervous. Yeah. So the best thing to do is have a plan, and that is know what you're gonna say. Have at least five questions, five conversation starters, five open-ended questions, and it's all about your date. So it should be all about what it is that makes them tick and build So rapport. you find out about your date, you don't focus on what you're thinking, but you focus on what they do, what mm -hmm. they like and things like that. Are there, are there sort of five tips that you can give people in terms of the kind of things that you could talk about? The best thing is, is to build rapport. Ask, ask them questions about sport. So tell me about your sporting interests. If you have some similarities and common interests, really build and establish you know, common ground. Um, secondly is, is tell me about your favourite holiday. That's yes, a holidays really are a good one, aren't they? That's a really open-end question. It's, everyone has a great time and everyone relaxes when they're on holidays. So then you start to relax. Just talk to them as though you're talking to a friend. Um, you know, conversations. Be a little different. Stand out from the crowd. Things like, hmm, so um, if you're a movie star, who would you be? Okay. Now yeah. that, that is a little out there, but it creates impact. It makes you stand out from the crowd. Another question which I read from a, a fabulous book, it was how to marry the man of your choice, but it works for men as well. Yeah, yeah. It uh, was, tell me about your first kiss. Oh my goodness, that's fairly in depth though, isn't it? It is <laughs> really in depth, but it works. And, it's, yeah. and that's not talking about your ex, it's not talking no. about emotions. It's just a funny little thing that we all have fond memories of, whether it was a oh, good yeah, absolutely. It's a bad good experience. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're great questions. And talking about talking about your ex, I know mm -hmm. you have a couple of do's and don'ts for those conversations on that first date. And one of them you say very specifically, do not talk about your ex. Now, uh, men and women both do it, don't they though? Men and women do mm. it. It's not, your date is not a therapy session. <laughs> 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 don't air your dirty laundry, forget the war stories. My partner and I, we actually don't have exes. We are the only people that yeah. we ever have heard of. So, and I think that's really important. Well, the implication, I guess, if you're talking about your ex, is that you're not over them. You're not over really? them, and it doesn't contribute to a relationship. Even no. though a first date is still getting to know that person, it's it could still fundamentally affect your relationship down the track. Oh yeah. And so it's it's and being negative is a huge turnoff. So ensure that you know you're not complaining or whinging about the ex, the person will just walk away feeling as though that you have lots and lots of baggage, so we don't want that at yeah. all. Mm. Now, what about the end of the date? Should you kiss? What are your thoughts on going any oh. further? <laughs> <laughs> well, each to their own, but I do personally believe mystery is the key. Um, I don't personally recommend kissing, apart from a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Keep the mystery there. Let them chase you. Let them want want to come back for more. Let them wonder: Was he or wasn't she interested in me? Yes, yes. Just it, it's it's a lovely thing to do. Is just keep things innocent. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> I agree with that actually, Samantha. I totally do. Nothing worse than having that confronting. I've heard all these stories about these confronting kiss stories, and it actually has impacted the date, and, yeah. and they haven't moved forward. Oh, it's so. a shame, isn't it? Mm. 
Well, thank you so much for those tips. Thanks Pleasure. again. Pleasure. And we'll see you next time. Your love life. Let's talk about it at naomishow.com.